Slick and Shiny Tongue and Cheek Productions takes you for another trip back to the days of yesteryear at one of our local communities. When I say local, I mean uh, places around Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. This time we're going to be looking at Hecla, and what I'm going to do is put some pictures on so that we can have some things to look at as I say a few things of introduction. And after that, then we'll go back and look at a few things uh, picture by picture. The place, Hecla, actually has two names. And if you send a, a, a letter to somebody in Hecla and you address it to Hecla, it's not going to get there. You have to address it to Southwest. Southwest is actually the name that the uh, post office knows Hecla by. The name Hecla came from two words. Henry Clay, that's Henry Clay of Henry Clay Frick, the big guy in Coal and Coke, once upon a time. The first two letters of Henry added to the first three letters of Clay give you Hecla. And that is one story um, about how the name Hecla came about. Now, if you go looking about Hecla and try to find anything about it, you'll find there there is reference to Hecla 1, Hecla 2, and Hecla 3. Hecla 1 and Hecla 3 are mines that are at Hecla, or southwest. However, Hecla 2 is a mine that's at Trauger. Don't ask me why. I didn't set this up, but uh, it had a lot to do with the members of the Thaw family owning property. Uh, the Thaw family were instrumental in the beginnings of Hecla. They owned it. They owned the coal property. The old man, William, had the, bought a lot of coal property, and his sons were into the, uh, the firm that managed the, uh, the mine, one of whom was Benjamin. He was president of the Hecla Coke Company. Another was Harry K. Thaw, who become a na became a nationally known murderer. Harry was uh, deranged in a way. I mean, he was, he kind of reminds you of somebody who's lately getting a lot of uh, media attention. He's a narcissist and uh, he liked to abuse people. He grew up in a circumstance where there was too much money around and he had no respect for the law and he killed somebody and well I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, Hecla was well served by the uh, transportation things. The railroad and the trolley both went through it. The railroad is what allowed the place to develop as a mine and the railroad also ran about four passenger trains through there daily when, you know, things were hopping. There was also a trolley line that went through Hecla. So even before the automobiles, people were mobile. They could, you know, go places. Hecla dates back to about 1882. That's when the first mine, Hecla number one, started functioning. And Hecla number three began putting out coal about 1902 or three in that neighborhood. By the late 1920s, things at Hecla, as far as the mine goes, were shutting down. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to switch over and look at some things bit by bit, if I can. Now, what I like to do is give a context shot, show where the thing was. Where was Hecla? This is Greensburg, Route 30. North is to the top. When you come down this way, this is Hecla over here. Let me put a circle around that. That'll, that's Hecla. The Thaw family owned property 
coal property at Hecla, down here at Carpenter Town, and over here at Trauger, and maybe places I'm not aware of. That was the old man, old man Thaw, William Thaw. He grew up in the banking business, and there was a lot of money around, and he uh, got invested in anything that would make money, including coal. And he put his sons in charge of the, the coal business. This was Benjamin Thaw, president of, president of Hecla, Hecla Coke. The, Hec, the Thaws owned and ran the thing until about 1906 when it passed over to Henry Clay Frick and Frick's operation. This was Harry K. Thaw, the guy that uh, ended up killing somebody and became a national figure. He was involved in what was called the trial of the century when the murder went to court. Uh, he was involved with a, a girl named Evelyn Nesbitt, who he married when the girl was about 20. And maybe she was bored, but she liked to get him jealous. She told him about her previous lover, who was a guy named uh, Stanton White. He was a very well-known architect. and. Uh, Harry Thaw killed the guy, drilled him through the head with his revolver, and there were a lot of, lot of uh, witnesses around. And Harry got off. He didn't really get off, but he got uh, accepted. The court accepted a plea of insanity. So he was innocent by reason of insanity. And all, his, all of his life, even after that, he, he got into, into trouble with the law. The guy probably should have been kept locked up. And he was one time down in the uh, mine at Hecla. He was trying to settle a dispute between the Thaw family and Henry Clay Frick. This takes us back into the 1860s. Now, I'll show you here where, see, that that's where the mine developed. But before Hecla, even existed. There was nothing but farms around here. This was a corner of Mount Pleasant Township. And along these streams, this is Sewickley, and this is one coming off, branching off. Along these streams, the railroad was built in the 1880s, early. And when that happened, then it was possible to uh, have a have a mine. There were smaller miner out mining operations. This is a mine. This is a mine. These little symbols indicate that there were small farm mines, but they weren't really largely productive because they couldn't really haul the stuff anywhere. That shows the company houses and Hecla number one. This is looking down from some of the houses of Hecla number three. This is called Goat Hill. This down here was the, uh, that's this building. That was the company store. This photo is by one of the uh, well-known photographers in our country, Walker Evans. If you ever study the history of photography, you'll run into Walker Evans. He did that shot. That's the company store at Hecla. It's not there. It burned up. This is mapping. I put this red line in to distinguish the two parts. This is Hecla number one over here. This is Hecla number three over here. This is 1939, looking down from the air. And this is Hecla number one, mine and coke ovens. This is Hecla number three, mine and coke ovens over here. This is Hecla number three. This is the same cluster of buildings, but from a different angle. 
and I tried to work this up and get some definition on it. And try though I may, I really couldn't get it the way I wanted it. So I put some color in it to try to uh, get it better looking. They had these dams, which were necessary for making coke. You need a lot of water to make coke. And I think at this point, we have said enough. And we're going to say hello. <laughs> we're going to say goodbye until we say hello again. I will have one more on Hecla to show some of the other things that we'll talk about. So long now.